Depending on where you're watching this, the car you're looking at is either the Vauxhall Adam S or the Opel Adam S. Either way, it's designed to rival the Mini and the Fiat 500. There's plenty of personalization options and it's a lot of fun. So what do you get to turn your Adam from trendy to sporty? You get these larger wheels, lowered stance and racy rear wing. The result is the kind of car that you want to throw at some corners. First though, let's check out the load space, or rather lack of it. There really isn't a lot of room in here, so anything bigger than a small shop could present a bit of a problem. However, the rear seats do fold down to increase the load space, but it's still smaller than most of its city car rivals. As for the rear seats, even little old me struggles for leg room, so anybody taller than my five foot four and a half is going to feel very squashed back here. Thankfully, the Adam feels a lot more spacious up front with a few handy storage spaces and some sporty touches such as these optional Recaro seats, which do a very good job of holding you in place. And it's possible to get a comfortable driving position, although my only criticism would be the cowling here does have a tendency to rub on your knee. But apart from that, it's good. <laughs> Now, you can have a standard Adam with anything from a three-cylinder, one-litre engine, but the S uses a 1.4 turbocharged unit, pushing out 150 horsepower, which might not sound like much, nor does the 0 to 60 miles per hour time of eight and a half seconds sound particularly quick, but there's enough in-gear acceleration to have some fun, and it just loves to rev. Darty steering and the way the nose of the car tucks into bends and the relatively wide tyres on the Adams 18-inch wheels provides lots of grip. Throw in a snappy gear change and good brakes and this Vauxhall or Opal is a car that you just want to drive just for the fun. The downside of those big wheels is a distinctly firm ride, particularly around town, which really should be the Adam's natural environment. Instead, it's on faster roads that this car is quite surprising because it soaks up miles well. Yes, there's a lot of wind and road noise, but we'll blame those big wheels again. But when you're in sixth gear, the engine seems to blend into the background and it's quite pleasant to drive. And there's a DAB radio and Bluetooth phone connectivity to take care of music. I do wish though the touchscreen wasn't all the way down here so you had to take your eyes so far away from the road. There is one area that we struggle with the Adam and that is cost. Prices start at just over £17,000 which puts it into the ballpark figure of the Fiesta ST which is a much more accomplished hot hatch. So as much as we like the plucky Adam, it's a bit more of a warm hatch than a full bodied hot hatch. At least running cost will be reasonable, this being a small car after all. We've been getting 37 miles per gallon out of the claimed 48, but perhaps that's just a reflection on how much we've been enjoying the performance. You could argue that a Suzuki Swift Sport is both cheaper and more fun, or the similarly priced Fiesta ST is faster. But neither seem to have the same level of personalisation options and arguably cheeky appeal that the Adam has. So if those things float your boat, the Adam S is worth a serious look. But be prepared to haggle on that price. Before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe to the Telegraph Cars YouTube channel by clicking here and visit the Telegraph Cars website to read in-depth reviews of other new cars on the market by clicking here.